Welcome everybody. Today we're going to be talking about a new coin opportunity that is launching tomorrow at 9 a.m. Eastern Time, which is just one hour before my regularly uploaded video. I probably would have just included this in tomorrow's video, but the timing really didn't work out well, and I need some practice with some videos that are just out of the blue, no editing, so be patient with me as I figure that out. So let's take a look at this and see how you can jump in on this token. So you're going to be on the Solana network. I did a Solana network for beginners video, essentially, if you just search my channel for Solana. And the token itself is called Media. So we'll talk about it in just a second. But to get in on this, you're going to need USDC on the Solana network. So the easiest way to get this is to start by first getting Sol. And you can receive Sol. And for example, Binance can send directly to Sol. So that's going to be the best option. Once you have Sol, you can swap it using swap.dexlab.space. So from Sol to USDC, and then just connect your wallet. The wallet I'm using is solit.io. They also have an extension, which I haven't used yet, but either one should work. One, that that, that option is going to give you the least fees. It's going to be the cheapest. Another option, for example, if you're in Texas and you're not on Binance or whatever exchange you're using doesn't have the option to withdraw Sol directly to a Sol address, then the next option is to connect to MetaMask and use Ethereum-based USDC, and there will be a conversion. So ERC-20 USDC can be converted to SPL USD coin via MetaMask. So this is actually what I did at first before I before I used the swap feature. I don't know why I didn't think of that originally, but I ended up wasting about $60 just to get my coins over and ready to go. So obviously you want to save money. It would have been a lot better to just get the soul and then do the swap. But just given different options out there, for example, if you're unable to get to soul immediately. So that is the first thing. And now how do you, how much do you actually need? Well, that's what I want to talk about and talk about how to actually get in on this token launch. So it's called Media and their goal is to make a decentralized content distribution network. And you can read about all the details of the network. I'm really just going to focus on how to get into the token sale. And they're selling uh, 100,000 media and it's two, or sorry, it's 10 USDC for one media. So $10 per media coin. There are two pools. There's the Ray pool and the community pool. You can, you can get in the community pool. Anybody can, but some of you are going to qualify for the Ray pool. And I want to talk about those qualifications. If you have staked 20 Ray seven days prior to pools opening, then you can have a maximum allocation of 600 USDC. And on top of that, you can also contribute to the community pool. It looks like all users are eligible per to participate, including Ray pool participants, which allows for an additional 450 USDC. So for me, you know, I'm around 600 some. I'm going to have to get a little bit more to, to fill out both of these pools. Now, if you have not staked Radium, well, then first off, you might want to consider for the future if, you know, if they're going to be launching any other tokens, then to do that, you just go to radium.io forward slash staking, connect your wallet and stake your radium. But don't be discouraged if you're not because you can still get in on the community pool. If you are staking, then you'll first want to do this one because the competition is going to be a lot less and they're only giving out a certain number of tokens, but they're not limiting the amount of allocation. So basically, if, if too much money is given to the pool, then you're going to basically just get a percentage and refunded any additional. So, I mean, that was a little confusing how I worded that, but you can read some examples down here. Here's one option where... It's below the total raise amount, in which that case you're going to get the exact allocation. And then the other option is if it's oversubscribed, you're going to basically receive proportional to your contributed funds. That means this community pool, let's say it goes way over, you're going to get a smaller percentage and you might not even hit that 450 cap. So definitely the, the staking pool is going to be better, but obviously you can do both and any difference will be refunded. So that is 
the uh, the basics of this and you can read on all the details of all of this here and also get their their different networks and stuff here and there's a caution here I wanted to share no media tokens are currently in circulation anything suggesting otherwise is a scam be careful out there and always check token addresses and you can see those here so cool all right so what else um yeah where do you actually do it so you go to the radium.io and go to the accelerator and here it is media the ray pool upcoming media community pool upcoming so you'll want the the uh, usdc to be in the same wallet that you are staking your uh, radium so you know the same one that you connect here but you know for everyone else just go with the community pool and that's about it so let me switch back to my uh myself here i was gonna say my screen but no this is not my screen uh so that was just kind of like a really quick brief overview and largely i just wanted to share something ahead of time that maybe you want to get started with and also i just wanted to get some practice doing these one take videos uh, for now, I'm going to keep them fairly simple just because it's really easy to make a really dumb mistake and have to restart or go edit. And I just don't want to have to do that because it's hard to get videos out fast enough about, you know, time sensitive things when you have to record, sync up video and audio, edit it, publish it, and then go through the whole uploading process and everything like that. So I really do want to get a couple of, of your opinions. The first one is read up on the media network and see your thoughts what pools are you contributing to and which and how much also i want to get your opinion on these quick videos if it's helpful you know especially if there is some new coin out and i want to get something out quick do you think these videos are adequate or do you prefer the more polished videos so those are the two main things and i'm probably going to do the max allocation for both of the pools if you if you are wondering however if you want to know the exact details of all my different investments I get into and how I'm spending my money. We do have a community where you can talk to other cryptocurrency enthusiasts and experts just to see how other people are investing their money. None of it is really investment advice, but it's a good way to get connected and learn about new coins being launched. So part of this video, I'm going to be sharing this video with that community so people can get in on this coin. Let me know in the comments what you think and be sure to subscribe i'll see you in the next episode cool beans i just gotta figure out how to stop it oh there we go <laughs>